Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today let's talk about finding limit using series. And as you can see here, if we directly plug in the zero into the x, we can actually see that there was a zero minus ln of one plus zero here, and then all over, and then we have the zero square. So you can see that we actually do get the indeterminate form because ln of one is also uh, zero. So zero minus zero. So you can see that the top is approaching zero and then the bottom is also approaching zero. We have an indeterminate form. And of course, we can actually find the limit by using L'Hopital's rule. But this time we are going to do it differently. We are going to use series. We can actually write the McClellan series for this and then we can actually use that to find this limit. So how do we do that? Let's actually get started. So first we are going to have the um, the limerator written as still just x and then minus. Now we are going to turn this L1 of 1 plus x into a series. Okay. And that would be, okay. So I'm going to use a different color for that. And we are going to have x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 and then minus x to the fourth over 4 and then plus and dot 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 just to show the skipping because the it's an infinite series so we have infinite many turns the turns will just keep going right so now we have this expressed as a McClellan series right here and then what happens next is that we are going to write down the denominator which is actually just the x square so we are going to just leave it as an x square and then what's next is that we are going to uh, remove the parentheses. We are going to distribute this minus sign to all the turns in here. So what happens in the next step is that we are going to get x and then we have minus x right here. So negative one and then minus x, right? And then minus minus, we get a plus. So we are going to get plus x squared over two minus x cubed over three because we're distributing the minus sign as you can see so all the signs inside will change and so we have plus x to the fourth power and then divided by four and minus and so on and then for the denominator we are still going to just get the x squared just still having the x squared there now, you can see that this x minus this x, they cancel each other out. So we are going to get zero. So we can just simply just cancel those out. Okay. And then now we clean up this expression right here. So I'm going to just write it in this here, which is to have what? Which is to have our leading turn as the what? The x squared over two. So we are going to get the x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 and then plus the x to the 4th over 4 minus and so on. Now, denominator still the same stuff, doesn't really change, so still having the x squared. Now, what happens next is that we can actually factor out x squared from every turn in the numerator and then also factor out the x squared. Well, there is nothing to factor out. It's already the x squared, right? So just leave it as x squared in the denominator. So what happens is that we are going to get x approaching zero. And then we factor out the x squared from all those turns. We are going to get x squared in the front. And then now if we factor out the x squared, we are going to have just the one half here. So just one half. And then minus. Now, factoring out the x squared from the x cubed, we are going to be left with just the x. So x over 3. So we are going to get x over 3. And then plus, if we factor out the x squared from the x to the fourth, we still have a x squared left. Okay, so we get x squared. And then divided by 4. And minus, and then dot dot dot. Right, okay, actually this minus sign looks a little bit off. So let me just re rewrite it. And then now we have that. And then what about the denominator? Same thing. So still having the x squared there. And so let's continue with the problem. Just keep in mind that when x is approaching zero, we know that x is actually not equal to zero, right? So because it's not equal to zero, so that means we can actually cancel out the x squared right here. 
we can divide top and the bottom by the x square. So we're actually just left with this expression right here, cleaning that up. We are going to have the limit as x approaching zero. Then we are going to have one over two minus x over three plus x squared over four minus dot, dot, dot. And then we have all that. Now, do you see what's going on here? When x is approaching zero, all those are approaching zero. So you can see that this is approaching zero, this is approaching zero, and so on, right? And so everything that's having an x in the numerator will be approaching zero. So what do we have left? We only will have the one half left, right? So our final answer will just be one over two for this limit. So we're finished with the problem. Okay, so that's the original problem. And this is our final answer. Yeah, so that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. I will see you next time.